The idea that we have is that if we can combine ourselves and collaborate with Corning, we can uh, create 3D, three-dimensional cellular uh, entities that are in a high-density format that will allow us to speed up that process, ultimately giving us improved hits that may become better leads for therapies. In the last few years, 3D cell culture has earned an important place in many research and commercial applications, from cancer studies to drug discovery, and even some promising opportunities in therapeutics. 3D delivers more in vivo-like models with more predictive results, making it a valuable research tool, and now more and more a powerful asset in preclinical drug screening. A range of 3D technologies have emerged, opening up exciting possibilities for drug discovery to be undertaken on cells with very precise pathophysiologies. While the benefits are clear, some manual 3D processes may be inconsistent, time-consuming, and labor-intensive. So some of the challenges in moving from 2D screening to 3D screening have been just the handling of the liquid and the cell suspensions and the actual forming of a 3D structure. To support 3D cell culture in an automated environment, Corning Life Sciences offers spheroid microplates, which feature a novel and proprietary design. The unique geometry of the microplate allows you to generate uniform spheroids with highly reproducible growth, as well as analyze in the same microplate. These plates are unique. They're really uh, quite fascinating. They'll fit not only our system, but our offline systems. They're uh, unique design and shape. They're completely non-adherent. They allow the formation of spheroids or three-dimensional structures within days, uh, which really drives our discovery process in the direction we need to go in order to be truly UHTS. With the use of the spheroid microplates, this eliminates the complexity by allowing the cells to form into a spheroid and also for the assay to be performed in a single microplate. The microplates feature a specialized ultra-low attachment surface coating to enable centered single spheroid formation across all wells. They are also optimized for visualization with a black opaque microplate body which reduces well-to-well -well crosstalk. Available in 96, 384, and 1536 well formats, the spheroid microplate is simple and easy to use with a plug-and-play protocol. There is no need for any specialized equipment since Corning spheroid microplates are compatible with most high-throughput screening instruments. All spheroid format options are ideal for spheroid applications in an automated environment. So customers have been having great results with the 96 well and 384 well spheroid microplates, but they need more. They need higher throughput and they need it to be automation friendly. And with the launch of the 1536 microplate, we're gonna be able to give them that option. So one of the great things about the 1536 spirit microplate is that it's SPS compatible, which means it fits on all automation, all liquid handlers, and it's really just interchangeable with any 1536 microplate that the customer's already using. The 1536 well format is especially useful for higher volume compound screening drug discovery applications in areas such as cancer and stem cell research. Spheroid microplates can be used across many cell-based applications including stem cell biology, cancer and tumor biology, hepatotoxicity, drug screening, neurobiology and metabolic disease. The future is really expanding the utility of these plates, putting them on our systems, validating them fully, putting them through uh, the tests if you will and then really driving as many compounds as we can through. So our collection of 650K large could go through this system using these plates in about a week or two maximum. And ultimately that'll drive the research for cancer biology. Then we have goals to exploit this in neurosciences as well and some other areas. For more information or to request a sample, please visit corning.com forward slash spheroid or contact your local representative.